I cannot believe I'm actually about to film this. It's just like insane. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, this is a what's in my hospital bag as a first time mom and also what's in my baby's hospital bag. As of today, I am currently 38 weeks and four days. Baby is the size of a mini watermelon, it says. So we are definitely coming upon his arrival date. I feel like I should have had this packed way earlier, like maybe at least two weeks earlier, but I literally just got in the last thing for my hospital bag last night. <laughs> so I was really pushing it on the time limit here, but I'm glad that I finally have it all together. So I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna show you what's in baby's bag because that is the most fun, in my opinion, it's the most fun. This is baby boy's hospital bag. I have a little stuffed animal that my friend got me. It's actually like a little rattle. It's gonna go in his stroller when he is, I mean not his stroller, his car seat when he's in the car just to kind of have just to look cute, even though he probably won't, he'll probably be sleeping and probably won't even notice. But in this front pouch, don't think I put anything in here. So this will be like for any paperwork or whatever that we have to take from the hospital. So this one is open, but it is nice that it has that little pouch as well as a side pouch that just currently has the diaper rash cream that we're gonna use. And then on the side, I just have this mushy, I think that's how you pronounce it, pacifier. I do not plan on giving him a pacifier right away unless he really needs it, but I did get two different kinds. So this one is the Bibs one. They are both of these are in a like zero, like newborn uh, month. So I also got him this one from Bibs that has just like a different nipple on it because you never know what they will like. Hopefully he won't have to have a pacifier at all, but some babies really enjoy them. So I have them in there just in case as an option. And it's really nice. It doesn't take up like any space at all. It just literally sits there. Now popping this open right on top. Here, I'll kind of like give you guys a little peek inside. Right on top, there is a little winter hat. So this is his going home outfit and he will be born in December. It's currently November 3rd, November 30th. So more than likely, I mean, tomorrow's December 1st, so he'll probably be born <laughs> in December. So when he goes outside, it is quite cold out right now and windy. So I wanna make sure he had a little winter hat. This one is the Love Your Melon brand and it is just absolutely adorable. I have one that matches, so me and baby will be matching. And then I have his little slipper shoes. These ones are from Carter's. I got these at Target for like $5.99 or something like that. I'm gonna try to link everything down below. If you guys are interested, you guys can check out that. But he will definitely be wearing these when we leave the hospital. So I have a couple outfits that I have packed for um, like photo just like just for photos when he's in the hospital and I also have like his leaving the hospital outfit those two outfits I'm not quite sure which one is going to be sorry if the lighting is like going really bad but I'm not quite sure which outfit I'm gonna choose for whatever but I'll just show you guys all the outfits together so I did bring two sleepers so I bought this one that I got at Target this is from Carter's really love it it is footed and it has all the little vegetables all over it and then it does have the little things that you can fold over his hands so that he won't scratch his face this is in a newborn size so hopefully he will be able to wear it it's so small and tiny but i absolutely love this, this is one of my favorite sleepers honestly that i got him and i like it because it has a two-way zip so you can open it this way you can open it from the top whatever you prefer Second little sleeper is more of like a little sleep dress. So it is this little guy right here, has a little turtle on the side from Carter's as well. 
also has the little mittens. I wanted to make sure that when he was in the hospital, we always had these little mitten things because I've seen a lot of babies with scratches on their face, which is normal, but I want to make sure that he is protected as much as possible. And yeah, this one just opens. So I like having the two options of having his legs enclosed and also having them in a little sleep sack like this to see which one he prefers right off the bat. I brought a couple pair of socks. One of them will be for his car ride home. The other one will probably be just for a photo because his sleepers are probably what he's gonna wear in at the hospital. And then to go underneath the outfits that, uh, like his going home and photo prop outfit, I did just pack a little white sleeper like this because I'm afraid that the other two outfits may be a little, they're like knitted, so you guys will see. So I wanna make sure he's warm enough. So I brought this to put underneath it, um, just like a really simple one by Gerber Organics. All right, so his first going home photo outfit is one that I showed in a previous vlog not too long ago. Actually, I think it was the one like right before this video, but I did pick up this one at Walmart the other day. This one is Modern Moments by Gerber. And I love the fact that it's like this really nice cream color, has the little wood buttons. I think it's so adorable. It does have the open feet, hence why I brought the socks. And then I'll show you guys it with the little hat. So the hat goes with both of the outfits that I chose, but really specifically with this one. So this may be his going home outfit. Like I said, I'm not quite sure, but I think that would be so adorable. And then the next one I'm thinking will probably be his photo op outfit, which is this one that I got from H&M. So it is a two piece set. This is the little top that has the little buttons down it right here. And then it comes with these little knitted pants. How stinking adorable are those? So this came as a set, it was like 30 bucks. It wasn't available on the website at first, but then I'm pretty sure now that they have it on there. So that's actually the last uh, like clothing article that I got him. I'm also bringing him this little rabbit, which pairs perfectly with this outfit, which is why I think this will be his announcement photo outfit because it just looks so cute together. This one, actually Caleb's grandma made, and it's one of my favorite little stuffed animals that he has in this little bunny. I think it's so adorable. Then I did pack a couple swaddles. So one of them I want to have draped over his little like birth box that we have the, that we do the photo in, his announcement photo. So I did pack this one. This one is from Aiden and Anius or whatever. It's the one from Target. These swaddles in particular, I'm definitely gonna link for you guys down below because they are not just like a regular muslin material they are like the silky soft ones which i highly recommend they are such good quality and i love the simplicity of this one it could definitely go gender neutral boy or girl and then i did bring another one just in case i wanted to do like two photos or whatever but i just brought another one this one is from copper and pearl which is such good quality as well this one is a little bit more of like a stretchy one it's not like a muslin one and it just has like the little beige um, rainbows on it. And this one is actually a car seat cover as well, which is why I wanted to bring this one so that we have the option of covering his car seat. We do have a bit of a walk outside from the hospital when we take him home. So I wanna make sure like if it's windy or whatever, he will be covered. And there is the little copper and pearl logo right there. You can also use this as a breastfeeding cover. You just like put it around your head and you can breastfeed in public and whatnot. So definitely love this option. Wanted to make sure that I brought that to the hospital. And then like last, as far as the blankets go, I did pack this one that his uh, great grandma, so Caleb's grandma, actually made for him as well. The same grandma that made the little rabbit. She also made him this little like swaddle, uh, not swaddle, it's like a quilt for like a bassinet or something like that. It is so beautiful. I wanted to make sure to bring that. I could lay that in the bottom of his little photo box 
drape this over it and then have him laying in it. So I have a whole vision in mind, which is why I'm bringing this. And then also I'll probably use this to tuck him in to his um, car seat when he's in the car, just to make sure that he is extra warm. I'm also bringing this footprint and handprint ink kit. I got this idea from somebody else here on YouTube that had this in her hospital bag and I thought it was a really good idea. So I just got this little kit off Amazon. It was super inexpensive and it doesn't take up much space at all. The box is really small so I kept everything in here but it does come with four different little ink pads that you can do each of their feet and each of their hands and then it has like the little cards right here also if you have a little baby book then you can ink their little feet and put their little prints in the baby book as well if you want to bring that which i may end up doing because i do have a baby book i was just gonna like put them on the paper and then put the paper in the baby book but we'll see i may put the baby book in here if I have enough room, I'm not quite sure. And then I want to show you guys like down in the bottom of this. It does have two little uh, storages right here, like little pockets and then a pocket right here on the side. So the pocket on the side, I literally just stuck in a burp cloth, which I've talked about these in the past. These are from Amazon. And then I popped in a changing pad. It comes with this one. This is just one of those like chintzy ones that I feel like isn't very nice so i got these ones these are from cloud island from target and i can always like layer these this will be like just in his bag for whatever i didn't necessarily necessarily need it for his hospital bag but i'll just put these in so that i can use them for the future and then also um oh, so we do have his little name sign in here which i'm not going to show you guys right now but his name sign is in here as well i got this off of etsy and the girl was so awesome like she did a great job and got here in pretty good amount of time and it was like in perfect condition so very happy with that and then i also just packed a little book just in case we want to read him a book like me and caleb love reading him little bedtime books before we go to bed at night so I thought this would be good to bring a book and we can start it right off the bat like first night in the hospital so that is what is in that little pouch and then in the two pockets I have some Millie Moon diapers that we plan on using and then I also so these are in a size one I wanted to bring a couple that were in a size one just because we don't know how big he's gonna be and then I also brought these little ones which are in a newborn I brought three of these these are from the honest brand just in case he is like small so I brought two different options as far as size wise goes that he can use if he needs to and then in the other pocket we just have a little thing of honest brand wipes and then a little pptp to use right away so that we don't get peed on hopefully fingers crossed so that is what is in the second pouch and that is actually everything that's in baby's hospital bag all right moving on to what is in my hospital bag so firstly like this is the one that i'm bringing with all of my like clothing and stuff like that but i do also want to show you guys this because i'm also bringing this bag right here that's just holding like a couple things so inside i do have a blanket this is the barefoot blanket that i snagged at nordstrom rack i shared it over on my instagram but i got it for like 50 percent off so i got it for a really good deal and it is in this like beautiful beige color i'm not gonna pull it out because i have it stuffed in here really well and then i'm also bringing his boppy so like the breastfeeding pillow so this is his breast pillow again not gonna pull it fully out because it is stuffed in there but this is the snuggle me uh, cr moon crescent boppy that I'm gonna be bringing to breastfeed and so those are the two things that are gonna be in here so I opted to go for a carry-on bag with the hard shell just because it's gonna be so much easier for Caleb to be able to like stroll this along in the hospital it glides really well on the floor that way he doesn't have to be carrying on his back like a million bags so i did end up going with this it's quite small it's just like a carry-on 
Ooh, I probably shouldn't be lifting that, but it is just a carry on size. So it's really not that large, but I'm going to go ahead and open it up, show you guys what's inside. So this is what it looks like first. When you open it up, I have everything in there pretty nice and neat. I feel like, and this bag in particular has a lot of compartments, which I really appreciate. Let's start off with what is in the little compartments right here. So we'll go here first. I'll open it up, show you, and then I'll show you guys what is on the other side as well. So in the first little compartment, I just have my AirPods. I wanted to make sure that I brought AirPods in case like I'm breastfeeding him in the middle of the night, Caleb is sleeping and I just can't sleep for whatever reason. I want to listen to music or something like that, meditation. So I wanted to make sure to bring those with me and they take up no space at all. So those are fully charged. By the way, everything in here that's like electronic, I have fully charged and ready to go with an extra charger just in case. Speaking of chargers, I did also pack this. This is a 10 foot charger. I wanted to make sure every single person that you watch their hospital bag, they always say, bring a 10 foot charger. That was like one of the first things that I wrote down, charger, charger, okay. And then the next thing I have in here is something that I wasn't going to bring, but it fit in here quite well, so I just went ahead and did it. I don't know if I'm actually going to use it, but one of the ladies that I watched on YouTube had one in her bag, and she said that she had used it in her first pregnancy, and she was so happy she brought it. So I thought, why not? I'll just go ahead and bring it. So it is just a pair of these, like, shapewear type things. I'm not wearing them as a shapewear to like look skinnier or whatever but I hear that you feel really like loosey-goosey after you give birth and sometimes it can be really uncomfortable so I wanted to make sure that I brought this option just in case I definitely want to be as comfortable as possible so I may use these I may not use these we will see and the, the second compartment which is right on top I do have a couple pairs of underwear that I will be wearing. These ones I got just off of like Amazon. They are a full butt, high waisted. I actually have a pair on right now and they are super comfortable, even nine months pregnant. So I'm definitely glad that I got these. I will link these down below because they are such good quality. And like I said, super duper comfortable. Then I have a couple of nursing bras. So these ones, are the Auden, A-U-D-E-N. These are the Auden nursing bras from Target. They come in a two pack for 20 bucks. Super comfortable, really good quality, the black and the pink one. So I have those with me. I also packed, which I hear that the hospital provides this stuff, but I wanted to pack it just in case. But I have some nipple pad uh, covers, like leaking whatever they're called. I don't even know what they're called. <laughs> but I brought these to have just in case like my boobs leak and whatnot. I don't want leaky boobs. So that is what is in that compartment. Opening up into this compartment on the left. First off, I ordered this off of Amazon. Now I did keep all the tags and stuff on newer items that I purchased just in case I don't end up wearing them, don't like them and need to return them after the baby's born so that I'm not just wasting my money. But I went ahead and just ordered everything that I could think of. If I don't use it, I can return it, get my money back. It's not a big deal. But um, so I did purchase this little nightgown. I love the little lace detail on it because you still want to look cute. At least I still want to look like presentable and cute when I'm in the hospital. And it is a full button down the front, which I love. Long sleeve because it is in December. So this will be perfect, like easy to breastfeed and whatnot for like a little nightgown. The next thing I packed were some fuzzy socks and then just some regular socks for my trip home. Now, I'm also packing a second pair of socks. These ones have the grippies on the bottom. These are slipper socks. So a lot of women have packed slippers as well as fuzzy socks. 
I think I'm just gonna pack these as my slippers since they are slipper socks because I really don't have any more room in my bag for my slippers. Plus, I wear my slippers every single day at the house and I don't really want to pack them in my bag. So I have these like ready to go. I think that should be good enough. I don't know, we'll see. I may like pop my slippers like in with the blanket bag. I'm not sure, but I think for now, I just plan on bringing these as my slippers. I do also have a robe, like a really nice winter robe. This is from Ugg. It is super comfortable and warm. I do hear that the hospitals are quite warm already, but if I do need this, I have it packed. And then I have my going home outfit. So I just ordered these high-waisted flare leggings from Old Navy and I'm going to be wearing those. I want to be super like comfy, cozy driving home but still look cute. And then I have this sweatshirt that I wear quite often. I got from Boohoo. It just says baby mama on it in this beautiful beige color. So that will be my going home outfit along with my little ankle boots. So I don't have my ankle boots in my bag yet. First of all, they're not gonna fit. Second of all, I'm probably gonna wear them to the hospital because I've been wearing them like every single day. So those are probably what I'm gonna wear to the hospital so I don't necessarily have to pack them in my bag. Um, lastly, in this compartment, I did go ahead and order one of those waist uh, waist, what are they called? It is the postpartum like waist trainer specifically for like, you know, after you give birth. So again, that loosey goosey feeling, I have a couple options. This one goes way down low, like by your pelvic bone, which I think I'm going to really enjoy. So it's not like just the top. It also has like that extra layer, but comes separate just in case you don't want to use it. So I'll kind of unfold it for you guys. That way you can see, but that is what it looks like. Just wraps around the belly and it gives you like extra support. I do hear that sometimes with the uterus, when it contracts back to its normal size, it can be very painful. This is supposed to help it shrink back faster and not as painful. So again, I have the bag and everything ready. If I don't use it or don't like it, that is an item that I can return. But honestly, it was only like $20 off of Amazon. So I will link that same one that I purchased down below. All right, so that is everything in this compartment. This video is taking actually a lot longer than I thought. So I gotta take a little break, a little water break. And a relaxation break. All right, moving on to the final compartment of my bag and the final items that I have packed. So I'll go through this at first. This is gonna be my makeup bag. I'm not gonna be packing a ton of makeup, but just some makeup like for when we do photos and stuff like that. And uh, I wanted to make sure that I had space for it in my bag. So currently it's holding like some snacks and stuff, but our snacks will be going into Caleb's hospital bag. He has a very large duffel bag that he's gonna be bringing and he's really not packing that much stuff. So he said that he would carry the snacks in his bag, but for now I do have some of the snacks in my bag. So I wanted to show you guys kind of like what I was thinking with um, the snack wise. So I have some cuties. My sister actually told me about bringing like the fruit and I thought that was actually a really good idea. So I'll be bringing some cuties in my bag. I also have these like protein bars. So these are from Cliff. And these are the bars that I'm gonna be bringing. These are like my favorite flavor as well as Caleb's favorite flavor. So I packed four of those just in case we need snacks. We also have like the little bag of chips. We have bought like this big variety pack of the little chips. So we'll probably pack a couple of those too. I don't anticipate us being there super long. So I think that's all that we're gonna be bringing is some fruit, granola bars, and some chips as far as like snacks go. Um, I'm also gonna pack some gum. I hear gum is really good, like some mints and stuff. So we'll be getting that later on. And then in here for now, I just packed a couple of these eye gels in case I want to do them the morning after I give birth. I can be like, 
exhausted. This might be a little like self-care moment that I do. I'm not sure if I'll actually use them. I also brought some hand sanitizer for anybody that comes to the hospital that may have forgot some hand sanitizer. I'm sure the hospital has some, but I packed some just in case. And then I also just packed some hand lotion just in case I need that as well. So that is what is in this bag. Like I said, this will be my makeup bag eventually. But I use my makeup almost every day. I don't wanna pack it until I absolutely need to. Next, I brought this really big, this is like a 56 ounce, I believe, 56 ounce water bottle. Love like this beige color. Got this off of Amazon. It comes in two different sizes. This one I love because it does have like a wide mouth thing. So my hand easily fits in there to wash it, first of all. And then you can also dump it in here and use it as a cup. Also, when you like go hiking, not even just for the hospital bag, this would be a good idea to like put some water in for your dog or your baby, whatever. <laughs> um, so really like this. Wanted to make sure that I got something nice and big, but not like too impractically big, but I wanna make sure that I'm drinking a lot of water while I'm in the hospital. Next up, I have my camera bag that I currently am filming my camera on here, but I wanted to make sure that I packed the bag so that I knew I had enough room. I did also pack a selfie stick just in case we wanna take like little photos of our little family just in private. We can have our selfie stick, good old selfie stick. I haven't used that in a very long time. Packed that right in the side of here. Also packing my speaker, which is fully charged. I definitely want to listen to meditation music. I'm gonna be doing a water birth, hopefully, if everything goes well, I'll be doing a water birth. I wanna make sure that I have like peaceful meditation music because that really helps soothe me. And so brought the speaker. We are also going to be bringing our hatch. I don't have that in here because we use it every single night. That will be a last minute thing that we pop in Caleb's hospital bag, but absolutely love the hatch. It has that beautiful light on it. You can change the color of the lights. You can have the lights do like multiple different colors if you want. I think that mixed with the meditation music is going to be perfect for me because I just know how much my surrounding really affects my mood. So I wanna make sure it's as comfortable as possible and feels as homely as homey as possible for when I give birth. So that's just a little tip for me, a little tip for you. Anyway, so next up, I actually have this bag right here that I have all my little like random toiletries and like hair care and stuff. So I'll, I'll go ahead and show you guys what all I have in here. First, I have the shampoo and body wash. I just got these little clear bottles off of Target and I was able to put my own shampoo and body wash in here, which is great. And then I'm also packing some dry shampoo. This is my absolute favorite dry shampoo. And then I have my Earth Mama spray for down there. I hear this is like a really good um, option. So I wanted to make sure that I purchased this and had that ready to go. Along with the Earth Mama nipple butter. Wanted to make sure to bring that as well. I might actually start using this in a couple days, honestly because I hear that you wanna start getting your nipples ready for breastfeeding. And um, so I might pop this open and start using it like at night or something like that. I also am packing just a little baby deodorant. This is the native deodorant, clean deodorant. I have my contact solution as well as I'll be bringing my contact little case, but I have my contacts in right now. So um, just bringing the solution and then I have our favorite, toothpaste. So I have those ready to go. Our toothbrushes will also need to come in here. I did also pick up a pack of hair ties. I am bringing a scrunchie just in case and I just have that wrapped around like this. And then I have my two combs. I also spoke about this in a previous vlog but because I'm doing the water birth I'm also going to be doing the comb method where you almost use it as a distraction. So when you feel a contraction coming on, you squeeze the combs and it's supposed to send the 
pain from these to your brain first so that your contractions really don't hurt as much. And a lot of women have used these and I've heard really good things about them. So I wanted to make sure that I brought those. And then the last thing that's in this little pouch thing, I picked up these postnatal support energy and recovery gummies. I actually meant to pick up the capsules, but I picked up the gummies. Hopefully I like the flavor of the gummies. I remember when I was first pregnant, I picked up the prenatal uh, gummies from Garden of Life and they were so gross. It made me want to like throw up. Other people have liked them. I just personally could not. I don't know if it was because I was pregnant and I didn't, I just couldn't. The smell of them, I just couldn't do it. So hopefully I won't have the same experience with these gummies, but I wanted to make sure that I started using those right away. I wanna be as healthy as I can to recover as fast as I can for myself and for my baby. So wanted to bring those right off the bat. Okay, moving on. I have, of course, this would not be a hospital bag haul if I didn't have my little spray bottle. I didn't get the Freedom Mom one. The Freedom Mom one I think was like $5 more. This one is the exact same. And I actually like the color of this one better. I do hear that they have these at the hospital, but they're the ones that are like this and they don't have this little option right here. So it's much easier to just stick this down there and be able to clean up. I think this is a very practical thing to keep in your hospital bag and I have kept mine in here to keep it nice and clean until I need to use it. Next up, this is another thing that I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear or not because I am doing the water birth. So this is if I can't do the water birth, just in case I wanted to have my own hospital gown because I have been in the hospital before. The hospital gowns that they provide are not comfortable. They're completely open in the back. They're not cute. I mean, not that you have to be super cute, but I just personally wanted my own labor and delivery gown and a lot of women are the same way. I just ordered this black one off of Amazon. The back has the snap buttons all the way down. This is the front of it. They have the little buttons that snap open so it's easy to breastfeed if you need to or do skin to skin. So very comfortable material as well. So wanted to make sure that I had that as a backup just in case I have to get out of the tub and not do a water birth. Next up is for if I do the water birth, which I really hope that I can, I wanted to pack a swimsuit cover. Now, a lot of people will just wear their sports bra. I possibly will. I may just like put on a nursing bra if I get like too hot, but I wanted to have the option to be covered if I wanted to, like if I didn't feel comfortable for whatever reason. So I did bring a um, bathing suit top that is going to be maternity friendly. So you can kind of tell like it billows open so I can like put it over my baby bump and just have the bottom area open and I will be covered up top. So I have that option if I need to. And then lastly, I just have some of my favorite maternity leggings from motherhood I ordered these off of amazon they're so comfortable wanted to make sure that i had these like just in case i needed to wear them around the hospital or anything like that and then the absolute last thing that i have packed which is what i got last night this is my nursing pregnancy tank top so it does have the little snaps that come undone easy for breastfeeding or skin to skin and this one is from motherhood maternity once again now i got this in an extra large i wish i would have got it in a large because it is quite big and i wanted it to be a little bit more on the snug side so oh well i think it'll be okay but i do wish that i would have sized down so if you guys want that tank top to, like your nursing tank tops to be a little bit more on the like you know to hold you in side definitely size down if you guys want to get that tank top all right guys well that is everything in my hospital bag if there's anything i'm missing i know a lot of you have suggested that i get a fan um possibly will do that but with me going into delivery like next week or possibly the week after it will be december and it is quite cold here so i'm wondering if a fan is still 
needed if you have a baby in the winter. I would definitely get one if it was being born in the summer, but it's not. Other than that, let me know if you guys think that I need to get anything else for my hospital bag. Definitely leave your, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so I almost forgot in the side pockets here, I did pack, even though the hospital does give you some of these, but I did pack some of these like uh, postpartum diaper things that are just so cute. <laughs> no, but uh, I actually did try these on just to make sure that they fit and they're really comfortable. So uh, yeah, not the cutest little thing, but definitely have to have these. I packed two of these just in case, but if I don't need them, I'll just use the hospital ones and then use these when I get home. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I had in my hospital bag. As a first time mama, I think I did pretty good. I am not gonna lie, this was the most challenging part for me was packing the hospital bag. His bag was really easy to pack. It was like really fun actually. My bag was super stressful. I wanted to make sure that I had everything that I needed and didn't pack too much. So I think I did a pretty good job. A couple of these items I'm sure I'm not gonna use, but wanted to make sure that I have them just in case. Well, I think that is everything for this video, you guys. Like I said, everything will be linked in the description down below. As always, I hope that you guys have a fabulous day. You will see me in my next video. Possibly my next video will be introducing baby boy. I don't know how I'm gonna really do that yet, but I definitely want to introduce him. That way I don't have to call him baby boy all the time. I can actually say his name. So that's gonna be a really fun and exciting thing for me to be able to share. But yeah, that's it for today, guys. Love you. See you in the next one. Look at this bump. My goodness, so crazy. This sweater, you guys, is from H&M, by the way. It is so comfy, cozy. I would hurry if you guys like it because it was sold out online. So I had to go in person and purchase it. Luckily, they had it in my size, which is great. I sized up to an XXL and you could tell like how big it is even nine months pregnant. So I like that oversized fit though. This is baby boy, 38 weeks and four days. Yay.